All right, Blaze. Cabell, like Scrabble. Mm -hmm. uh, nice win there, first off. How tired do you get wrestling a lot of these heavyweights when you're doing all the action? A lot of guys, they don't move a whole lot. Um, you had two nasty takedowns in the first period, but do you get tired moving these guys and doing all the action? Yeah, I mean, it gets tiring, but uh, I can't really just hang out. I can't afford to do that since I'm like 30, 40 pounds smaller than most of the heavyweights that I wrestle, but I mean, usually I try and, you know, you just got to dig deep and find that way to get through that. You know, you push through that first big blow and then usually it gets you going, but Moving them, moving them's a challenge sometimes. What'd you weigh in at today? 227. 227, yeah, I yeah. thought maybe 235. It looks like you might lift a little bit, but uh, Coach Thompson, talking to Coach Thompson, he said that he doesn't give you too many beatings anymore, that uh, it's kind of, <laughs> the, the tables have turned. Uh, what's it like working with, you know, one of, a guy who's, who's had the international experience, experience he's had, and, uh, you know, having Tolly Thompson, a guy like that to work out with. What's that like? I, I mean, it's great. Like, going in there my first year or two, even when I wasn't a uh, heavyweight when I was still at 97, just the experience that that dude's had from being on the world and Olympic circuit and just, I mean, him being around the sport of wrestling for as long as he's been, uh, it gives me, he gives me a lot of good feels, a lot of different feels. Like, he's not just your typical big heavyweight who just kind of holds on to you. Like, he can do that. He can move. He can go out, he can hit left-handed shots, right-handed shots. It's just, he gives me a lot of different looks and he can help me with a lot of different stuff. You know, you guys lose that match on Friday night to OU. You come back and bounce back here. You had a tech fall. How does a heavyweight get a tech fall? How many takedowns did you score on Friday night against Ohio U? I think it was nine, 10, maybe in that range somewhere. That's not normal for heavyweight, you know that, right? No, I, I, but I, I like to put up points. I don't, I don't like to do these boring 3-1, 3-2s, you know, 2-1, one nothing ride outs and stuff. like. That's not exciting. I feel like when you want to come to a wrestling meet, I mean, you want to see action up and down through the lineup. So that's what I try and bring. You're looking at the uh, the match today with Mimo. He beat you last year. Mm -hmm. So were you kind of licking your chops for this one a little bit? Yeah, I've been, I mean, I've been wanting this one for a while. Like, I don't like, you know, I'm pretty salty towards guys who beat me once, and I don't like losing. That's why, I mean, you know, nobody likes losing. But I was really looking forward to this, and, you know, just the situation that it put me in, you know, to be able to beat Amanda win the duel was, you know, kind of the double sweep. Uh, you guys will be one, two in the MAC. It looks like he was undefeated in the MAC, so it'll be you and him probably. You know, if he can make the finals mm -hmm. to you and you can make the finals, it could, we could see a rematch in the MAC championship. You want yeah. that too? Yeah, I mean, potential. That'd be. I mean, I'm just looking for a great competition ever. Whoever, whoever wants to go out there, I'm gonna step out there and give him seven minutes of hell. I look at that mustache, and it is it is strong to very strong. Do you get a lot of food stuck in that thing? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, I got to be careful, <laughs> you know, with everything. You got to have a napkin for everything, and uh, just kind of chew on it. Sometimes it'll get long in there, <laughs> you know, syrup's a pain. <laughs> Looking at, you know, you haven't qualified for the NCAAs yet, right? Uh, no, I qualified last year. You qualified yep. last year at heavyweight? Yep. So as a small heavyweight, you qualified mm -hmm. last year. What do you got to do? You know, you get the first experience. You're not going to have the wide eyes now. Mm -hmm. You're going to be ready to go. Um, having a year under your belt, what do you got to do to go on a breakthrough, be a podium guy, challenge to get in the finals? What do you got to do to be that guy? I mean, just wrestle a high pace, wrestle seven minutes to the best I can, you know, get off bottom, move my hands and feet when I'm on a, a neutral, and, you know, just try and score points. I feel like if I keep my pace high, there's not going to be anyone else in the country who can keep up with it. Not having those three All-Americans on the team anymore. You know, you, you guys graduate three All-Americans last year. What has that done and what, as far as leadership, and what have you had to do to make up for that? Uh, I mean, I'm vocal, but not in a leadership. I'm kind of joking usually, but, uh, you know, graduating three All-Americans like that last year was, you know, those three just, you know, go out there and kind of just do. And I feel like that's kind of the way I want to try and be a leader with the team, you know. Maybe not so much trying to rah-rah the team up, but just, you know, go out there, take care of business, come off, like, you know, just lead by example. All right, what do you guys uh, have between here and uh, the MAC tournament? We got uh, Iowa State, I think, next Sunday, and then Old Dominion the Sunday after that or Saturday after that. You excited? Yeah, oh yeah. Right. You got anything else for me? <laughs> nah, I should be good. Thanks a lot. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Keep that mustache strong. Will do. And we'll see you in Columbia. Sounds good. <laughs>